Hello and welcome back to the A to Z of EFT tapping. Today is the last day and is representing the letter Z, which is standing for zone. Now zone, as I see it, is the state of mind or the state of your energy body, your focus of how you are when you're using EFT. Now, when you are really focused in on something, when you are really tuned in, then of course you are going to be in the zone. I'm sure you're all familiar with that terminology. And that's no different with EFT. If you can really zoom in on, on your problem or, or on where the pain is or the, the feelings, emotions, sensations are in your body, getting into that zone, it is highly likely that EFT is going to work an awful lot quicker for you. So if you have the headache and you feel it in the back of your head and you're closing your eyes and you're tapping and you're really getting into it, then it is likely to shift an awful lot quicker. So being in the zone is something that I would encourage you to do. And being out of the zone when you're trying to tap for something like a headache, for example, uh, is less likely for it to work or it, it would likely take longer for it to work, which means that you may be more prone to giving up tapping and saying, oh, that doesn't work. But when all you really need to do is focus on something. And in EFT terms, it can often be called tuning in. So you tune in to the issue or the problem. So if you're angry and you feel all that anger and burning in your chest, you really need to tune into that. You really need to feel what that's like to experience that the anger and that burning and just keep tapping. And as mentioned previously, with something like anger, you're likely to tap an awful lot quicker than you would with other things. So being in the zone is very important with the effectiveness of EFT and how quickly it can work. Now, there are also uh, my previous videos with the quick fix and extreme EFT. And although they are just five minutes or thereabouts, uh, you can still be in the zone with that. So you can still be thinking or feeling in your body how it is when you're about to give that, that public talk, when you're about to have that difficult conversation with somebody or go somewhere uh, that, you're, that you don't want to go, go over a swing bridge, for example, which I had to tap for myself not so long ago. So even though it can only be five minutes, you can still be in the zone. So I would encourage you to really focus in on, on what it is you're tapping about. The more <clears throat> internally focused you can be um, with the sensations in your body, the likelihood EFT is going to work a lot quicker for you and be more effective. Uh, but when it comes to really heavy, severe emotions, big traumas, things like that that may have happened in your life, please do consult a qualified practitioner, experienced practitioner in those areas, because the last thing you need to do is to go into the zone with those when you're by yourself. So I'm discouraging you from doing that or encouraging you not to do that. Uh, if you have serious traumas in your life, uh, I'm talking about going in the zone for uh, angers and things that you can just feel in your body. I hope you've enjoyed this series. I've thoroughly enjoyed bringing it to you. Uh, it is the first A to Z of EFT video series out there. And uh, I've really enjoyed experiencing the things that I've brought to you and bringing my own modalities, my own take on it, and helping you hopefully to gain a little bit more understanding and experience of EFT. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be bringing more videos to you on different topics, try and keep them short and light. There'll be a bigger meditation video, etc. So again, thank you very much and speak to you soon. Bye for now.